Today, we will talk about HSA custodians. An HSA custodian is any bank, credit union, insurance company, brokerage, or other IRS-approved financial institution that offers health savings accounts. They are also called HSA administrators and hold HSA assets in a secure account. The account holder can direct how to invest the funds and may withdraw them for qualified medical expenses. This allows individuals to save for medical expenses in a tax-preferred manner. You can open an HSA through your employer, and in some cases, you might be automatically enrolled with a particular HSA custodian. Opening an HSA on your own also allows you to choose the custodian, which is important as it can impact your HSA balance over time. It's essential to minimize fees and maximize returns by choosing the right custodian for your HSA. HSA custodians make it possible for individuals to contribute to an HSA and withdraw funds as needed to pay medical bills. They pay interest on cash balances held in the HSA account and may offer investment options for potentially higher rates of return. These accounts offer tax-preferred treatment for savings used for medical expenses. HSA's custodians charge fees for their services, including annual administrative fees, custodial fees, and fees for issuing additional debit cards or account maintenance. It's important to be aware of these fees when choosing an HSA custodian to minimize any unnecessary costs. Individuals might use their HSAs to lower their monthly premiums by adjusting their deductibles. For example, increasing their deductible to $5,000 might lower their monthly premium, saving them money on a monthly basis. These accounts offer flexibility and potential cost savings for healthcare expenses. Here are three key takeaways. 1. An HSA custodian includes banks, credit unions, insurance companies, and brokerages that offer HSAs, providing tax-preferred treatment for medical expenses. Two. HSA custodians allow individuals to contribute, withdraw, and invest funds for medical expenses, providing flexibility and potential cost savings. 3. HSAs were established by the Medicare Prescription Drug, Improvement, and Modernization Act of 2003, aimed at individuals with high-deductible health plans, HDHP. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.